obviously what's really important for us to recognise is that the pace of change in Antarctica is accelerating. Um, and that change means loss of ice, more rapid loss of ice, which of course means changes in sea level around the world, but it also means changes to ocean circulation, changes to atmospheric circulation, and the impacts of those changes on iconic Antarctic species such as penguins, but also further into the terrestrial environment, looking at nematodes and things that live in the soil. So the changes are quite impactful, um, they are more rapid than we expect, and it really is time to pay attention to what we might do about it and how we might respond, and uh, not just mitigate, but actually how we might now adapt to some of those changes that are in So SCAR is certainly involved in helping lead the scientific programs in the Antarctic and bring the 46 member nations of, of SCAR together uh, to work collectively, uh, but it's also equally uh, involved in helping ensure that that information, that research information is available for policy makers and for people to understand and, uh, and adapt to. Uh, the, the changes are now being observed in Antarctica, so, so we know that the changes are happening. They're measured um, and we can see them, so the challenge for us now is in how we respond to that and what we do about it. And SCAR is partly helping to do that with policy makers through the Antarctic Treaty Consultative Meeting. Um, but also with its messaging out uh, more broadly uh, through programs like this, uh, the NCPOR here in, in India, but also this meeting, and how we get the messages out from the research here in India that's contributing as well. It's a, a little bit insidious, so these changes are happening quite slowly, uh, but quite progressively, that change is now accelerating. We're already seeing, we're now at 4.5 millimetres of change in sea level rise per year, um, that may seem like a small amount, but that's accelerating, and it's year upon year upon year. So it's really starting to affect some of the coastal regions, as are the changes in, in local weather patterns because of that change in heat. The conference on polar science essentially was originally, uh, you know, the idea came to you know have a network within the country, uh, within India, actually to involve all young scientists as well as the middle level as well as senior scientists together to have a potential collaborations among the institutions within the country, as well as the, the think about strategies and ideas for doing science in a better way. I think we do it every two years and uh, this has provided uh, nearly more than 300 people are uh, participating in it. And we also yesterday we had a very, very enthusiastic young uh, project, you know, polar scientist meeting. So this all together actually provides an impetus to actually how, you know, as the globe is changing and the soil is there, 